Well, we've all heard a lot about the greenhouse effect. What Toronto's city council has heard, it does not like. It has visions of a city withering in the heat. So today it took some action to slow down the greenhouse effect. It did something no other city in the world has done. It came up with a plan to save the environment. More from our science specialist, Eve Savory. The snow is blowing, it's cold, it's wet, but by riding their bikes, city councillors Jack Layton and Marilyn Shirley are doing their bit for the greening of Toronto. We've got to stop belching out carbons into the atmosphere. Let's start right in the middle of the city. Carbon is the villain in this piece. The carbon dioxide from the fossil fuels we burn may slowly be warming the planet. People in this city put four and a half times as much carbon into the atmosphere per person as the global average. And we're changing nature itself, and uh, I think municipalities have to take it on. So today, the city became the first in the world to approve a blueprint to protect the atmosphere. The goal, cut carbon dioxide emissions by 20% by the year 2005. We want to play a meaningful role and making sure that the destruction that is presently being caused to the natural environment around us is turned back. These are the measures they're considering. Public transit, alternative fuels and energy conservation will be encouraged. One person per car will be discouraged. Parking fees will increase even more. There will be bike paths and bike parking lots and people will be asked to walk. And the city will plant trees by the thousands, both in Ontario and a Central American rainforest. That's because trees remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. None of this is cheap, so Toronto intends to set up a $23 million atmospheric fund, and even that won't be enough. So the city will be lobbying the province and the federal government to establish a 10% tax, a carbon tax, on every litre and pound of fossil fuel Canadians burn. It'll be painful and um, it's going to be difficult, but it has to be done. Toronto Council says it's the leader in this game, but it doesn't want to play alone for long. It will send every major city in Canada and the world a report on what it's done, and every city will be challenged to do the same. E. Savory, CBC News, Toronto.